Hey guys, what's up? So, um, a while ago, quite a while ago now, I did a uh, review for the Protein Works White Chocolate and Strawberry Protein. Well, that's all run out. Um, and I was actually waiting for another delivery of Plus Got Triple, which I'll hopefully get soon. But basically, got a bit messed around about there, so I had to go out to the shop and get um, some some more protein, which cost a bit more. Uh, but I, I need something. So what I went out and got was this. So this is Optimum Nutrition Lean Whey High Protein Powder with CLA, L carnitine, and green tea extract. Um, so just to have a quick run through the uh, nutrition with it, or what it tells you. Is it's 20 grams of uh, quality protein per serving. So what that means is protein. Um, having a little look, it's the protein blend, so it doesn't really tell you what's in it. But whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, and milk protein isolate. Uh, milk protein isolate is 20. Is, sorry, it's 8% whey, 20% casein. So basically, it's mostly pretty much whey, um, which it should be. Can't tell you how much is concentrate or how much is isolate, but probably mainly concentrate. It's just cheaper. Um, so it's got 98 calories uh, per serving, which it says that that's, um, you know, that helps with it being lean. But in general, that's the same for most protein. Um, it, it's just how it works, you know. I said it before, but it's four grams, sorry, uh, four calories for one gram of carbs or protein, nine for fat, that's just it. Uh, it's got 234 milligrams of CLA. Uh, CLA is, it helps um, with fat loss. It's not super potent. It's kind of like omega-3. So it's basically instead of getting a different, uh, getting a different supplement, you can have it with this. Uh, you probably need about two scoops of these a day for you to really get the uh, right amount of CLA in there. You got 130 milligrams of L-carnitine um, and 78 milligrams of green tea extract per serving. For those, um, it's been quite a while now since I had a look up on that, so I'm not 100% certain for it. Um, I didn't get this for them. I got this because I needed some protein, and it was the cheapest in the shop. That was small. I didn't want something big because I'm already getting something. Um, so have a little look at that, but really it's just adding a little bit extra. I wouldn't really say it's particularly potent how much you get, it's just you get a little bit more. Um, so it says it's versatile enough to use anytime you want to add high quality protein to your diet. And it's instantized, mix easily using just a glass and spoon. Well, two things. Um, the first thing being that the use any time of the day is pretty much the same as any other protein. And instantize is also the same as any other protein. And uh, I've got a blender with a blender ball because uh, I'm a blender bro. And so I, I haven't ever mixed it with a glass and spoon, but pretty much why would you do that? It's easy to take things with a shaker around to where you want and give it a shake. It's That looked a bit awkward, uh, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, so it's meant to be mixed with one scoop with 180 to 240 mils of cold water. I'm not going to use cold water. I'm going to use uh, full fat milk. It's not, you know, I don't really give a shit about the um, the lose the uh, leanness of it. It's not lean. It's just protein with a little bit of uh, the few ingredients that do sort of help with fat loss slightly, um, but not really in super potent enough uh, quantities. I don't think. Uh, also, something to note, just to, in case you're wondering, it is 1.2 grams of fat and 1.4 grams of carbs and 0.6 grams of sugar. So not a lot, basically. Um, but mo again, most, pretty much, no protein has that much. So that's pretty much a market employed for you. Um, now I'm going to tell you, this is the chocolate milkshake flavour, and it's been made with milk. Um, so now I have tried this uh, for the last couple of days, because I've been a little bit busy. Uh, so we're going to go to the lower amount, 180ml of milk. Um, 
But yeah, I don't want to try it for you now, just because I need some before bed. And sort of to revitalize those tastebuds so I can actually give you a, you know, a proper review. So, there we go, one full scoop in there. Um, so let's see how it goes. Cap on there, all nice and tight. As before, I did it five shakes, see how it goes. So, it's five shakes, and I just don't know if I can get that to be seen without that falling out. No, it can't. I'll never do it like that. No, I don't really think that's working. Well, anyway, um, let's get that sorted. Yeah. Sorry guys, I've just got a webcam that I bought. I didn't not really have the, uh, the fancy equipment that every other YouTuber has. Um, so, it looks like it's mixed. It is mixed. Um, the first thing I can tell you, we're going to have, I did try this the other day, um, but I've just had it now, just to double check. And, um, yeah, it does not taste like chocolate milkshake. Definitely not with milk either. It just doesn't. It tastes kind of not quite grainy. Um, my girlfriend described it as cardboardy, which I'd probably say is correct. Um, oh, also just to know it's made of sweetener, is that, if that's something you're not keen on. Let me just check which sweetener actually. Um, the sweetener that it is made with is... Do -do 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 -do. Sucralose. So I know some of you guys don't like sucralose, so if you, if you really don't want that, um, don't go for this. But it's not, now the way I'd say it is, it's not particularly unpleasant, it's just not really at all pleasant. So it's, uh, yeah. It, it's not the most enjoyable experience you'll ever have. Um, and if you want, if you want my personal opinion, if you want something that tastes good, um, I wouldn't go for that. And if you want something that's gonna make you lose weight, don't fall for the market boy. It's not lean. It's just the same as any other protein, but with a couple of extra bits. Um, but not really very potent forms. And like I said, I got this because it was the cheapest in the shop, but that's for one kilo. Generally, I wouldn't recommend buying protein for one kilo unless you really just want to check it out first. Um, but if you're looking for a solid protein to use on a regular basis, I don't think it's really for anyone because it doesn't taste great. It certainly does not taste of chocolate and not a chocolate milkshake, which I'm quite fond of. And it's not really, worth the extra money. For the extra money, you'd be better off actually buying the supplements uh, like your green tea, L-carnitine, eh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bother. I'd pretty much go green tea. Uh, CLA is alright, but I think you'd be better off with uh, Omega 3s, 3s, uh, 3s or 9s, just because it's better overall and does the same thing for fat loss, but also helps with uh, like brain function and joints and everything else. So guys, that's uh, that's my review for you today, and uh, yeah, uh, when my new stuff arrives, I'll hopefully be giving a review for that as well. Peace out, guys. Mm.